can't get that low on time. Uh, he had to he had to liquidate, you know, before uh, because he was sort of like a bit ambitious, pretending to play for a win. Mm -hmm. But he could. He, I think he I think he needs to just liquidate earlier because it's just, he shouldn't waste time on these positions. Do you think the biggest X factor against Magnus is sort of time management? Yeah. You know, allow yourself to get down to five seconds, even if it's a simple position. Yeah, you really can't. I think that once you. I think that in this type of match you need to be strategic and uh, at some point he could take on e5 and liquidate, he could play d4 and liquidate. I think it's just more practical in that type of position where, uh, you know, it's just not a good idea to to extend the game uh, if, you're, if you're not in control. Have you ever been a King's Indian player? Obviously with black. The side yeah, yeah, well, this eight, I, I actually play h6 a lot, like, if you go back. I, I saw you discussing this move, like, bishop b3, yeah, so the point is, so, here, bishop b3, if you want to force a draw. Yep, knight g4, bishop So I played a game against the Mikhailevsky, uh -huh. and um, I, I had a feeling that he might try and force a draw with bishop b3, so I I checked, okay, how do I avoid? Uh, how do I avoid a draw in, in the best possible way? So, after bishop b3, knight g4. Let's bring up an L sport. Yeah, uh, bishop c1, uh, and now you play rook e8, h3, okay. bd, uh -huh. knight, of, knight d4, yeah, knight of 6 uh, bishop uh, f3, and then now, like, d7, it was something like, something weird. c5? Uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, wait, what did he play? It was something really weird, no, 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 bishop, anyways, I want a very nice game here, maybe it was bishop b3, mm -hmm. uh, knight c6, but this is a pretty favorable structure, because anytime white plays f3 here, I don't remember, wait, 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 no, no, no. Like anyway, something happened, and I, and I won a nice game, but it's like 0.6, 0.7, it was a pretty desperate try, but anyways. Is that how Super GMs win? Something happens, and then Yeah, then no, this win? is, no, the King's Indian, uh... Hey, uh, I know someone is writing a chessable course on it, so watch what you say about the King's Indian. Oh, you are, yeah? yeah. No, the King's Indian, you're, you're, on, so you're, on, the, you're on the right side. No, I think it's a good way to put pressure on people like Magnus Nikor, because they are very good when they're in control, so it's, it's not a bad, I, I, I think it's actually quite smart. Uh, I, I, Ellie Reza has played the Kings Indian in classical, which I, it's quite a dangerous thing, but uh, I think it's working out very well so far. Because in the technical positions, uh, facing their experience is very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Looks like Black is doing pretty well. Bishop no, 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 pair. No, no. She, she should have gone a4, I think. Ugh, rook f2, and now you can go for some tack. Maybe knight uh, takes g2 and f4. Looks like our blitz game. Well, first, yeah, first rook, bishop a6. He starts by Six, f6, yeah. e4. So if 94, then the d5 pawn becomes really weak. The black and yeah, 94, yeah, yeah, okay. That's a nice nuance, yeah. Bishop b7, knight c3. So unbalanced positions, is that going to be the secret sauce for Ali Reza? F takes e4 on the board. And where's the rook going to go? Two. Very rook. Maybe h5 also by black, just tightening the screws on the king side. You can't rook's, go c3. Rook c8 is fine. Looks pretty unpleasant for white. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find a plan here as white. Well. There's not really... maybe... I mean, it's, there's no moves. Your lights I, I like... Or perhaps? I don't like it. No, no, no. You know what I think? That, that, that only one should have tried to reroute from c2 to b4. Now I... but the knight is just stuck. Okay, bishop c4. I really don't like this.
plays queen g4, giving up the d6 pawn. Yeah, he gave up the d6 pawn. It's going to get really double-edged. I mean, look at this cocoon defense by Magnus. King h1, bishop g1. Knight takes d5, threatening knight f4. Alireza is up a pawn. But he's getting pinned now, so it's harder to move. Is there like a bishop b5? I bishop f1 oh is Oh my gosh. The pawn's not even mate. Yeah, how many times do you have to attack this darn g2 pawn? Wow, and Magnus trades queens, and he's got drawing chances, but e4 is coming, opening up the dark squared bishop. Alireza should take this levy. Yes, the bishop pair, a past e pawn. We're looking... Apparently that was a bad, I mean, they say bring your king closer in the endgame, apparently not against Magnus. Don't go g3 if you're Magnus, bishop f3 is checkmate, but look at the way he's using his knights to c5 he goes, hitting e4 pawn, now he can play g3. He should be two, was still not checkmate, by the way, because the knight can come back to g2. Unbelievable. Okay, yeah, but now there's a pass pawn, I mean, this is going to be really, the bishop c3 is incoming, I think this is just... And Magnus forgot maybe that black can actually take the bishop. Knight c3 or d2, he's deciding, he trades the knight, this is looking like Farouche is going to win. He doesn't even need to take the bishop, trade on c3 and d2's coming. And now you still have to convert an extra piece. Yes, it's actually shockingly hard to do that. It, as the pawns get traded off the board, he's deciding whether to queen or not. He does. Yeah, he couldn't find a way to deflect the knight. He's, he thinks this is the best he can do, and it is. How do you win this exactly? And I'm not talking checkmate with bishop and knight against king. I know Alireza can do that. I think people have to realize bishop and knight versus bishop is a draw. You can't win. So this is going to come down to the final pawn. Which Alireza is oh king e4 they're threatening king f5 magnus is gonna flag though oh he's gonna flag and he does and should he have tried should magnus have forced ali reza to checkmate him it would have been content yes ali reza stands up has uh -oh. a question is it halftime it's not halftime yet it is halftime it is halftime yes it is and okay. uh, he walks off hopefully nothing wrong as we see Ma magnus's uh tip of his hair majestically blowing in the wind there uh, yes, uh, the...